See next topic is acceleration. See acceleration is simply the rate of change of velocity is called acceleration. So, the rate of change of velocity is known as acceleration. Acceleration is equal to we can represent by small a like this is equal to change in velocity upon time interval. So, acceleration is equal to change in velocity upon time interval. We know it change in velocity that means velocity we can measure in meter per second upon time interval is only second. So, its unit is unit of acceleration is equal to meter per second square or we can write meter per per second square in this way. See the SI unit of acceleration is meter per second square. Now, see a change in velocity as I have told you acceleration is equal to change in velocity upon time interval. Suppose you have taken initial velocity is u, final velocity is equal to v and we can write here initial time is equal to t 1 and final time is equal to t 2. So, you can write acceleration a is equal to v minus u upon t 2 minus t 1. So, see here final velocity may be greater than initial velocity, not necessary it is less. So, if v is greater than u, the value of a you will be getting positive. This is called positive acceleration, we say only just acceleration, it means speed is uh, that velocity or speed is increasing with the time. But if final velocity is less than initial velocity, suppose initially car was moving at a speed of 50 kilometer per hour after some time it is moving with the speed of 20 kilometer per hour. Now, speed has gone down. In this case value of acceleration will be coming negative. This negative acceleration is known as retardation. So, retardation is basically retardation is negative acceleration. So, Acceleration means whenever speed increases with the time, we say acceleration. Whenever the speed or velocity decreases in the time, we say retardation that is negative acceleration. But see here, every time I am using velocity and speed for the same term, in, because in certain cases speed and velocities are same. Suppose if the body is moving in a straight line, I am giving you an example related to this. If body moves in a straight line, Suppose body is moving from O and it is going O to A in 1 second and distance is 1 meter, A to B this is again 1 meter, this time is 1 second. So, body is moving in a straight line, this motion is known as a, motion, a straight line motion. In this case, when the body goes O to B, distance is 2 meter and displacement is also 2 meter. Similarly, when you calculate a speed, this is total distance that is a 2 meter upon 2 seconds that is 1 meter per second. Similarly, velocity is also 1 meter per second. So, when the body moves in a straight line, then distance and displacement are equal. Similarly, speed and velocities are equal. So, for a straight line motion, we can refer the speed and velocity for the same terms.